Thomas Edward Patrick Brady. Born in 1977 in San Mateo, California. Played 22 full seasons in the league. 10 of which he went to a Super Bowl. 7 of which he won. Tom Brady is not only the greatest player of all time. He's my hero. My football hero, really. I grew up in a family of Saints fans, but around age five and five or six, I uh, read a book, a biography about Tom Brady and his life, and it made me a Tom Brady fan, and ultimately a, uh, a New England fan. And uh, the rest is history, really. <laughs> I'm the only Patriots fan in my family. Everybody, everybody's a Saints fan, pretty much. So. Uh, it feels weird that Tom's retired because it, it never even crossed my mind that he wouldn't not be playing football. There actually has never been a time in my life up until now where Tom Brady will not be playing football this next year. And that's crazy to think about. It shows the longevity of him, of him and uh, his commitment to the game. Uh, so for this video, I thought it'd be a fun idea. I know I just did a Patriots video, but um, it felt right to send my football hero off with uh, his own video. I was going to do a Bucks rebuild, um, but I wanted him back home in New England. So we're going to be simulating one season just to see what Madden thinks would have happened if Tom Brady spent his last year in New England. And um, as I sim this, I'm just going to talk about some of my favorite Brady moments. I don't know if you guys truly care about my story with Brady. Um, but it, it's just a video I want to make. So we're going to sim the playoff, see what happens. Uh, the first the first thing I want to discuss is, in terms of favorite moments, is the 24, down 24 to nothing to Peyton Manning in 2013. Manning was Brady's biggest rival, biggest argument for best in the game at the time. And um, down 24 nothing at home, Brady uh, came back and won the game 34-31. Going into the third quarter at halftime, down 24 to nothing. It was just unbelievable. And um, a little bit of my family that's not Saints fans or Bronco fans, so that was kind of bittersweet for me. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, a couple years later, Von Miller had to strip sack him in the AFC Championship, but it was still a re really fun game to watch. One of my favorites that I've ever seen. Uh, the Patriots go ten and seven with Tom Brady. I feel like they would have won a few more than that. Twelve games probably, uh, but it is what it is. We all know men's not perfect. Um, my other favorite memory, probably the most obvious one, and a lot of people's favorite, is going to be Super Bowl Fifty One. I remember going to a Super Bowl party. That year, and my my Brady jersey, my Reebok Brady jersey, I've had I'd had for years, and uh, <laughs> there were so many people, so many uh, people there wanting him to lose, and going into halftime, it obviously looked that way, and um, I knew you couldn't count him out though, I knew you couldn't, no matter how much time was left on the clock or what the score was, he was going to keep fighting. And it's not just him, obviously, it was the whole Patriots team, but it was just incredible to watch. That is still to this day my favorite football game I've ever seen. And uh, we all know the story there. The other the other couple things I want to talk about is, uh, actually, recently, uh, some of my favorite memories are him off the field, his relationship with his teammates, uh, especially Gronk in Tampa. I was... I, I like Tom in Tampa, even though I was upset he left my team. It was good to see him blossom. And I think a lot less people hate him now than they did when he was with the Patriots. The, you know, the quote-unquote evil empire. <laughs> it was good that he let his personality show, and I'm glad other people got to see it that weren't Patriot fans. And it was, it was good to see Tom in Tampa. Well, it wasn't good to see Tom in Tampa. You know what I mean. It let him... It let him show who he really was. All right, so um, we're going to see uh, some stats. Let's see how Brady did in his last season. 
Tom Brady, everyone. <laughs> 5,764 yards. 47 touchdowns, 12 interceptions at the age of 44. 68% completion percentage. Over 300 yards a game. 114 passer rating. It was his favorite target. Jacoby Myers. Unreal, Tom. Unreal. Yet the team only won 10 games. Um, this isn't really about trying to see... This isn't really about trying to get him one last Super Bowl. I was just wanting to share my Tom experience. And um, kind of just talk about... He wins MVP as well. So even if he doesn't win the Super Bowl in this sim, it's a hell of a... Hell of a career, obviously, Tom. And uh, I wish you stayed a Patriot for life, but I understand your reasons for leaving. Leaving. So, sorry if I'm, I'm messing up words here. I'm just trying to get through this video because I'm, I'm still pretty, you know, upset about everything. Somehow the Texans are twelve and five. Um, we're gonna play. We're gonna play, but I'm gonna skip towards the, towards the uh, end of the game. So I'll see you guys when I'm at that point. So this game has been fairly interesting so far. Um, we were killing them. And then it became a seven point game all of a sudden. So I stopped the sim. Tom's not really having that great of a game. Um, good completion percentage. Not a lot of touchdowns. It's not a bad game. There we go. Tom over the middle. I could have thrown to either one of those guys. They're covering the big play. Oh, RP is open. I should have thrown that earlier. Trying to put this game away, Tom. Go to the divisional. I'm going to look at Hunter Henry here. Nope, no, I'm not. Ah! Oh, I passed the line of scrimmage. I meant to touch that into Hunter Henry. Yeah, legal pass. Legal forward pass. My bad. <laughs> Oh, fuck. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> what a terrible... I did hit the wrong button. <laughs> That's my bad. I'm making you look bad, Tom. I'm going to once again look at Henry here. Actually, Aguilar. Toe tap! He missed it. How did he miss that? Is it because it's Aguilar? Oh, he had it, dude. And he dropped it at the end. I was about to challenge that. I don't know why Quinn Norton's the kicker. Ten point lead. <laughs> well, made Tom look bad. They actually scored another touchdown, by the way. Almost came back. Let's see who we're playing in the divisional. Kansas City. Ooh, boy. I'll be sure to uh, lower the volume this time in the game. Well, kids, here we go. Two-minute warning. We're down seven. I was simming this, and I hopped in. All of a sudden, we were winning by a lot, and now we're losing. And Tom has four interceptions, for whatever reason. So, we're going to try to step in here. No huddle. Do a play action here. I don't like any of these options. Oh, that's a terrible, terrible, terrible choice! That's such bullshit, and you know it, game. That's such bu- that's a push-off, first of all. 
Second of all, why would Jonu Smith not even try? Okay, well, they gave us the ball back. Ugh. So Tom has five interceptions in this game now. <laughs> he didn't even turn around at the ball. This game is so trash with its with its uh lack of penalties. This I mean this game is garbage anyway, but I just play it because I've played Madden for years, but the game overall is garbage. Got the first down and got out of bounds. So there's that. These little drag routes, they don't seem to cover too well. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that to Tyrone Matthew, dude. He's not even looking at the ball. He's just hitting the guy. <laughs> Got his arms on him and everything. It's so bad. Oh, come on, Nelson. How are you slower? Don't like it. Just going to get out of bounds. Fourth and five. Here we go. Not sure what to do here. Spike, 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 spike. The game's over, dude. That's... <laughs> So annoying how trash this game is. We were up two touchdowns. Yeah, Tom throws five interceptions. I'm not going to... That game is not on Tom. It's kind of on me. I did some stupid throws, but... This game's also absolute garbage. And it thinks Tom Brady would throw five interceptions in a championship game or a playoff game. When he's up by a lot, by the way. So... It's whatever. This wasn't really about trying to win the Super Bowl. It was just uh, pretty much a thank you video to Tom. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all you did for the game. All you did for me. Just having something to watch on Sundays and something to hope for. Um, I know it's just a game. so I know there's way more important things in life, but... I don't know, it was, it was good to watch you play because sometimes you need a break from things. And um, that's what football was for me. And you were the biggest part of that. So thank you for the memories and thank you for everything. I hope you enjoy retirement. And I hope to see you around more on TV and whatever else you may be doing in life. So thank you, Tom.